Now, for the first time ever, the New York City Fire Department is funding Mandarin classes for the city's emergency responders. Now, it's all part of efforts to respond to shifting demographics. Residents from China are expected to become New York City's largest immigrant group in the next few years. CCTV's Karina Huber has more. How many tongs do we have? Four tongs, right? On Thursday nights, this old firehouse in New York City is transformed into a Mandarin classroom. The students are mainly firemen, emergency medical technicians, and paramedics. After their regular jobs, they come here for two hours every week for 16 weeks to work on their Mandarin tones and vocabulary. I'm just so proud of them. They put really, you know, um, a lot of energy learning it. And a lot of them actually, they, they are able to carry some really, you know, um, quite intermediate conversation with some of the native speakers. And I can just see the, the progress they've been making. The classes are funded by the New York City Fire Department and were the brainchild of Lieutenant Lee, president of the Phoenix Society, a group of Asian American firemen and first responders. One of the things that we don't get trained on is language skills, oddly enough, you know, and that's almost always the, the first barrier that, that we, we come across as first responders in this city. Spanish is currently the most widely spoken foreign language in New York, but foreign-born Chinese are soon expected to become the city's largest immigrant group. Many of those immigrants speak little or no English, which makes it challenging for first responders. You're interviewing someone, trying to find out what's troubling them, and you know, it, it, when, they don't, when you're not speaking the same language, it's kind of tough. It's also tough to learn Mandarin. Chung has tailored the curriculum to focus on words and sentences that would be most useful to the fire department. We are using a lot of, you know, um, intermediate vocabulary they can use in the fire situation, like tell people, close the window, close the door, you know, turn off all the electricity, please move, disperse. So we're learning all these words, technical words, they can actually use it on, you know, the injured people and in the actual environment. You uh, are Brad Pitt, ma? Wow, <laughs> excellent. But the classes are also about connecting on a more personal level with the growing community they serve. We recognize that there was a gap between us as first responders and, and the communities in New York. Uh, we want to fill that gap in, in, you know, in any which way possible, and this is, this is one of those ways. If the Mandarin classes are deemed to be a success, the fire department will look into offering classes in Chinese dialects like Cantonese and other Asian languages. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.